what is the difference between single, first, single or default or first or default? If you are wondering the same question, you are at the right video. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you do not miss any future notification. Back to the main question. We have single, first, first or default and single or default. These are the methods or operators on link and entity framework to retrieve one record. But there are few differences between them and when you should use them. Let me first start with single. The name here is self-explanatory. It is used to retrieve a single record. But we will examine three scenarios here. If the result has only one record, then single will return back that record. If the result has multiple records, then single will throw an exception or also if result has no records, single will throw an exception. Let me examine that with an example. Right here I have an action method and there I have three try catch blocks. In each one of them I have a different condition when I am using single on the DB context dot villas. And if I go back to the database here, you can see I have three records in the villas table and only two of them has pool in the name. When we take a look at the condition, first condition we are saying we want to retrieve villas dot single where id is equal to one. That will always retrieve one record because id is the primary key of the table. Next what we have here will return more than one record. We are saying underscore context dot villas dot single and we want to retrieve all the records where name matches or where name contains the word pool inside them. That will retrieve records 2 and 3, both of them contains the word pool in the name column. Finally, we have a condition that will not retrieve any record. We are saying here retrieve where name contains .NET mastery. If I examine the records here, none of the villa has the word .NET mastery inside them. So the last condition here will not retrieve any record. Let me add a debugging point here and run the application. What we saw in the presentation is single will work if there is only one record. That worked successfully. But if the result will return more than one records, single throws an exception that sequence contains more than one element. Lastly, if we do not have any records, single will again throw an exception that sequence contains no element. So basically, single will work only if exactly one record is found. And that is what we have in the presentation right here. Next, what we have is single or default. That works exactly same as single works but if no records are found, then it basically returns null and it does not throw an exception. So the difference between single and single or default is when there are no records. The first two results here, if it has one record or if result has multiple records, stays the same between single and single or default. Let me switch back and modify that to be single or default. Let me run the application again and this time the first two will stay the same but in the last one here it will not throw an exception. Perfect that worked. We see an exception if there are more than one records but if there are no records then it works and returns null. So that was pretty straightforward to identify the difference between single and single or default. But now we also have something called as first. First is used to retrieve one record, but there if a result has one record, it will return the record exactly same as single. 
The difference is if it has multiple records. If there are multiple records, then first we'll retrieve the first record of all the records. When we were working with single, at this point it will throw an exception. But then if the result has no records, then first we'll again throw an exception. So the main difference between first and single is the second point here on if there are multiple records, first will return the first record from the list, but single will throw an exception. Let me see that with an example here. Replace everything with first here and restart the application. If it has exactly one records, that should work. Perfect, looks good. If there are more than one record, it will work exactly the same. It will pick one record from the complete collection. And if there are no records, then it will throw the exception, sequence contains no element. That looks great. Now based on that, can you identify the difference between first and first or default? That is exactly same as the difference was there between single and single or default. So first or default will basically not throw an exception if there are no records. When you add the default there, that basically in simple word means that you have to handle the empty scenario if there are no records, return null and not throw an exception. Everything else stays the same. Let me run the application and this time none of the use case here will throw an exception. You can see one record that works, more than one record, it retrieves the first record and if there are no records then we get null here. So I hope with that you were able to summarize on the difference between single, first, single or default and first or default. Now what should you use in the application? As you can see first or default is the one that will not throw an exception, it will return null or if it has more than one record, it will simply retrieve the first record. I personally prefer using first or default rather than single, single or default or first. But again if your business scenarios has some validations that you have to do or throw an exception, if there are no records, then you can select the appropriate one. But typically in my code, I prefer using first or default. But now you might be wondering one question. Is there any performance difference when we are using single or default or first or default? First or default usually performs faster as compared to single or default. And that is because when we are using first or first or default, it iterates the collection until they find the first match. As soon as they find the first match, it returns back. Whereas in single or single or default, it will iterate through the whole collection to find one single match. And that applies when you are using link on an existing collection. So like I said before, typically I prefer using first or default and that should be your go-to approach unless you have some other business scenario, because of that you have to use the other use case. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now, that way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery.